Hi, I'm Stu Maddox. I'm the person that puts together Queer Ghost Hunters. I'm the director, the editor, and um, I have to say I'm feeling a little weepy right at this moment putting together the segment that you're watching uh, because our executive producer is up on stage at our world premiere at a film festival that is the biggest, I would think the most prestigious queer film festival in the world, Frameline in San Francisco. We decided that it was weird that we always assumed that ghosts are heterosexual. <laughs> so uh, how do we see more of the ghost hunters, queer ghost hunters? <laughs> um, well, the He's also my husband, and uh, we work really, really hard on all our stuff. The, this was the first uh, episode of uh, seven episodes that we have on our YouTube channel, so if you go to uh, Queer Ghost Hunters YouTube, you will can binge watch them, <laughs> and we actually have episode number eight premiering on June 30th, and we're very excited. <laughs> this is also for the uh, Ghost Hunters. Um, so do you have clairvoyance or anything like that? Um, yes and no. I don't know that anyone on the team is, like, specifically calls themselves a clairvoyant, but um, there's a lot of folks who are, um, you know, kind of sensitive or um, just more able to feel, I guess, the presence of an entity when it's there. To see people applauding your thing, asking questions about it, to hear the laughter at the places where you hope people would laugh, you don't get that a lot when you make a web series. You're just putting it out there, you're getting the comments, but you're not hearing that room full of feedback, and it's so valuable to help keep us going. And you may think, well, that's crazy, that's a ghost hunting show but it's taking the layer off of people who were made invisible in the past. I mean, that's amazing stuff. Who, that's what we got into it to do, is to make stuff that is really entertaining, but really important too.